last here but not least um, for the February readings, this is going to be a special Valentine's Day reading for you guys. Um, we're going to be looking into a connection of yours, whether you're in the connection or not in the connection or wanting to be in the connection or whatever it is. We're going to be checking that connection out. If this connection doesn't sound like your connection, um, take what you want and take what resonates from the reading. But if it's not your connection, then that's okay. It's not going to resonate for every Capricorn out there. Um, if it does not resonate, I would go check your moon, your rising, your Venus placements. If you don't know those, go to Google and type in natal chart. And then um, there will be a few different websites you can go to. They're all fine. And you put it in your birth information, some of your birth information. And then you can get your natal chart for free. Okay. I love cafe astrology. Um, but some people say it's not like 100% accurate. But I don't know. It's been 100% accurate for me. But anyways... What else? If you hear screaming in the background, my mother's here watching my children. Um, so they're two and four and they're crazy. Okay. Um, if it also, if it doesn't resonate, also you guys can book a personal reading. My information for that's in the description box. Just go to my Etsy. Um, click on my Etsy. I don't know if I'm going to be having a sale by the time I release this reading, but just check it out anyways. Um, in January, I was had a sale for 15% off of readings. We'll see what I do for February. But if you want to perk a personal reading, you can do it through that way. Okay. Um, also, I make intention jewelry, crystal intention jewelry, necklaces, bracelets. I make spell jars and all that good stuff. And it's on my Etsy as well. I make earrings. Okay. So let's see what else. Right now, when you if it does resonate for you guys, there's going to be a, a, an extended to this. So this portion, we're going to be looking at your real, your connection. And then in the um, extended portion, we're going to look at your person's energy and their feelings about you and how they think and feel and what their intentions are, okay? Um, if it shows up that, you know, you're releasing somebody old and you're, and, and you're ready for a new uh, love, then, then we'll look into that new love in the extended reading, okay? Um, but the links for that are below right now. When you sign up on Patreon, you're going to get put into a drawing for a free 30 minute reading. So that's cool. But I have a one-time purchase and a Patreon link. So, all right, let's get to this. Um, some people tell me my intros are too long and like two minutes in, and then I watch other readers and they have like a five to seven minute intro. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's move on. We have the golden mirror. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist. Um, sorry, my nails are like falling off and I need to go fix them. Um, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Ooh. And then we have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Woo. Clock. Needs time. Takes time. In time cycles. Time to heal and progress. Oh boy. On the bottom of the deck we have healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Right behind that we have heart with a key and then not today. Hand of cards taking a risk. Okay. I'm kind of seeing what's going on here. I do feel like there's a one-sided relationship going on. Okay. Somebody is chasing most likely you are the one who's chasing this person, all right? You, It feels like a one-sided relationship because this person is not um, communicating with you, it feels like. I feel like this person definitely needs more time um, in their own personal life, okay? Because I either, I feel like this person could be trying to make better choices in life or they're trying to decide um, what's best for them right now. But I also think that this Healthy Choices card is for you. And just a reminder to pick, you know, people who are healthy for you. And if somebody is not healthy for you right now, then maybe they will be in the future. But you need somebody healthy right now, okay? You need somebody who can um, reciprocate your energy now, all right? We have this Hand of Cards card. It says, take a chance, a risk options this person could have options but also it could be a risk um it could feel like a risk for them 
to be in this relationship or it could be a risk for you to be with this person. Ultimately, I think that you feel like you've met the one, all right? You feel you've opened up your heart to this person and you feel like this person is the one. You feel like they are the 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 lock to, or the key to your lock, okay? Um but there's definitely some chasing going on and I feel a lot of one-sided energy here in this connection, all right? Let's get a few of these cards out and see if we can if we can expand this story a little bit. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit, please. Observer in the reverse. Okay. I feel like there's something here that you're struggling to see clearly. There could be like um, your perception of the situation is off or maybe you you think that it's one way and it's and it's actually not all right we have never ending story yeah so this is something i think that has happened to you before all right um i think that you may possibly find yourself in these kind of connections periodically or constantly um or when you do try to connect with somebody it tends to end in this runner chaser situation where they run and you chase um, where you feel like you are feeling much more than they do. And maybe at the beginning it started off equally and you guys really enjoyed each other and then something switched like that. And then all of a sudden you are the one texting more, calling more, asking to see them more. And they start doing that less and less and less and less. And I'm getting, I'm picking that up from the situation. Um, so, you know, Blessed in the reverse. I think, you know, you just feel like, when is it going to be my turn? When is it going to be my chance to have this relationship where somebody actually loves me and treats me equally and enjoys me equally? When am I going to be in this situation where, you know, I enjoy them just as much as they, or they enjoy me just as much as I enjoy them? And I feel like, you know... You, you're waiting for that blessing to come in, and I think you thought this person was it, all right? We have fork in the road in the reverse. Why is that in the reverse? All right. It's good. There's a decision to be made here. Unfinished symphony. Is it in the reverse, or is it upright? Um, so I'm going to do something with that that I don't normally do. I'm just going to pull a few cards on that unfinished symphony card, because I want to see if I can get any information. Tell me about... Because the unfinished, unfinished symphony is a big deal, you know? It's either going to say, hey, you have unfinished business with this person? Okay. Okay. You have unfinished business with, the business with this person or you don't. Um, and I'm seeing that you have unfinished business with this person. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me see one more. A choice. There's a choice here. This person needs to make a choice between you possibly and another person. Gotcha. Well, okay. So, th so this is the thing, what I'm picking up and I I'm seeing the community card. Oh, I saw the community card in the reverse. That to me is a third party situation. We have the three of cups in the reverse, which is a third party situation. Now we have the two of swords, which is, do I go this way or do I go this way? It's a decision, okay, to be made. The page of cups is here are saying, I think that this person wants to offer love, um, but they're conflicted. They don't know which direction to go. And with this three of cups here, I'm thinking that it could be between you and another person. And maybe that's why you're getting this conflicting energy. Um, so... There's this energy that spirit just kind of showed to me where sometimes it's, it's hot and cold, okay? Sometimes this person is texting you and it seems great and it seems awesome and then all of a sudden they just disappear and they ghost you, um, okay? So I think, I, I do feel like that's because they have somebody else that they're talking with right now and trying to decide behind between you and this other person, all right? So let's get... um. I'm going to put these back. Let's get a few of these cards out. Have faith. Love is all around you, huh? Have faith. Love is all around you. Okay, so Spirit's really trying to say, like, 
sometimes when I just open up the deck, the cards are just right there, I have to say. Um, rest and relaxation is essential. Look at to your inner strength. This is Spirit's message to you right now, okay? Have patience as well. Have faith. Have patience. Love is all around you. And and I don't feel like Spirit's saying ha have faith and have patience with this person. I think Spirit's saying have faith and have patience with finding the right one. Finding the one that will truly love you. Because love is all around you all the time, okay? And you need to right now look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize, this card says. this. Just... Sometimes when we get into these situations, we feel like we need this person, okay, to be happy. We feel like if I don't get this person, I am just not going to be happy. It is just, it, I need this person. I'm, I, this person is my person. I have to have this person. And we get really stuck in that mindset. But what I'm seeing here is spirit reminding you that you have a lot more out there for you. You just need to be patient and have faith that that love is coming. What the love that you truly desire is coming. The best way to make sure that you put yourself in a position where you are going to get the love that you, re you, you deserve is to work on that part of you that needs that affirmation or needs that connection to feel worthy. Okay, there's something within us when we feel like um, we need to chase other people to be happy or we need to chase other people to get them to like us. There's something there in that component that needs to be healed. All right, so figuring that out, learning what that is, the runner chaser dynamic happens a lot um, and there are different attachment styles and those attachment styles you know, develop in us because of what we went through with childhood and, and the woundings there. And so there are wounds that need to be tended to in these types of situations. And these situations are here to show us what's there, okay, in our heart. So ultimately, you know, thank you, this person, for showing me this, what I needed to see in, in my own heart. Um, and hopefully, you know, as you heal and as you grow and as you change, like you're going to be attracting more and more people who are uh, available to you. Okay. All right. Let's get a few cards out from here. And I want to see. Yeah, you're waiting for a decision. See that three of swords or sorry, three of wands, two of swords in the reverse. You're waiting for a decision to be made um, from this person is what I'm feeling. Okay. But yeah, look at that seven of swords. Okay, this person um, is possibly not communicating with you. Yeah, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. I don't think you guys are communicating right now. We also have this Queen of Pentacles here and the High Priestess. Okay, so I do think that this person is is keeping some secrets from you. Um, there could be somebody else. Uh, here you are, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have a Queen of Swords, all right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm seeing two queens and a king, all right? So I am getting this sense that this person is talking with somebody else. Um, maybe not talking with you right now or talking with you guys at different times, all right? And the High Priestess is here just saying, I think that this person holds a lot in and doesn't express a lot to you, doesn't say a lot to you, especially with that those swords the king and queen of swords in the reverse, just meaning there's not a lot of communication. Like, even when there is talking, there's not a lot of communication. You understand? Like, this person doesn't give you a lot of information. And they do it on purpose, all right? I saw the um, the uh, magician in the reverse. I thought there's kind of some manipulation here. Maybe not, like, in a, just such a bad way, but, you know, manipulation in the sense of, Oh, well, this other person isn't responding to me right now, so I'm going to go over to Capricorn and um, text Capricorn and see what's up, you know, and maybe Capricorn will give me some of the attention that I'm, you know, desiring that this other person isn't giving me today. So that's, I mean, like literally the storyline that I'm picking up for you guys, and I, I don't like that. So I think that, you know, ultimately you guys deserve so much better, all right? 
But you guys are waiting for this person to make a decision, I think. Um, and you know, I think in your heart of hearts that there is a decision that this person has to make. Obviously, you know that this person has to like choose you, but I don't know if you knew that there's somebody else in the mix here. Seven of Swords, there's deceit, okay? Lying, sneaking around, like some not dishonest energy here, all right? Especially with that High Priestess. Seven of Swords, High Priestess together to me is like dishonesty, lying, you know, sneaking around, not, not speaking the whole truth. Not saying what they need to say, all right? Okay. So, we're going to go into the extended reading. This is what I want to do. I want to, we will look into this person's energy for you, all right? I will do that because um, I know that you came to this reading for that. We'll look into this person's energy for you and see how they're feeling towards you and seeing what, what we're going to see what the most likely outcome is for you and this person. But I also want to see what is available to you if this person it wasn't in the picture okay if you decided hey I'm gonna put boundaries up with this person they don't deserve me what is next for me what who is next for me I want to look into that and I want to see you know what's coming down the line for you as far as a new love um, somebody who actually loves you and deserves you and all of that all right so we're gonna look into that as well it might be a longer reading but that's okay so if you want to follow me to the extended for that, please do. There's the Patreon links. Um, I have a bunch of different Patreon tiers, so like different price points that you can sign up at. They will all get you access to the extended readings, all of them, all the time. But each tier has different perks. There are two tiers that actually give you a personal reading every single month. I have it all written out in the description box for you, so you can just read through it and see which one works best for you. Um, and let's see what else. And then there's a one-time purchase deal that you can um, use as well. All right, that link's below. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Please give me a thumbs up on this reading. Um, leave a comment in the comment section and I always try to comment back. I appreciate you guys being here, watching, liking, subscribing. Um, I hope to see you guys in the extended and if not, I'll see you next month. Okay, bye Capricorn. All right. So, thank you, Spirit, for, you know, getting that message to us right out the gate. Now we don't have to do on a full-on freaking, like, reading for them. This is, um, in my spirit, in my intuition, this is a done deal, all right? This person said no more second chances. The Grim Reaper does not come out very often in this deck. The relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. So Spirit's saying, go, grow and transform your life right now, okay? Things are not going to work out here. All right, let's get, I want to see if I can get some energy. Oh my goodness. Right off the bat, I'm seeing, look at this. Right off the bat, I'm seeing ascension or ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. We have the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, growth, changed mind. We have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together imperfect. And we have twin flames. 